In an effort to provide better care for patients, UNMH is hiring more trauma trained professionals to their staff. News 13's Madison Connor has the details. As the state safety net hospital, you know, we, um, we work with the most complicated, um, most acute patients. As policies and techniques change in the medical world, UNMH is also working to take trauma care to a new level. We um, have had to look at being creative with regards to making sure that the staff that we're hiring have the uh, requisite education and training to be able to respond from a trauma-informed uh, approach. Dr. Larissa Lindsay is the Director of Clinical Services for Behavioral Health at UNMH and saw the need for more trauma-informed healthcare professionals in her department. We have been in the you know, top five, if not the, the number one placeholder for uh, childhood trauma exposure in the country. UNMH has been working on hiring more trauma-informed professionals for years, but a SAMHSA grant last year has helped them push the effort forward. Now they want to make sure trauma-informed care is a standard procedure across the board for hiring. What does this population look like? How do we approach and work with them from a trauma-informed perspective? Now, when hiring, they are seeing what the potential employee would do in certain scenarios with a patient who's experienced trauma. So asking uh, questions about experience with the traumatized population, um, comfort level with a lot of the, the behaviors that come along with um, untreated uh, trauma reactions. Dr. Lindsay says trauma can come from childhood experiences, discrimination, poverty, limited resources, and substance abuse. And she wants all staff to be prepared to handle anything that comes their way. A system-wide uh, trauma-informed training uh, that's going to impact every level of staff from frontline and security to our physicians. So staff can better serve their patients and avoid having them relive traumatic experiences when receiving medical care. So our job is to do the best we can to create a safe and secure environment and the trauma exposure in our communities likely also impacts uh, what's going on in our, our educational areas and our, you know, low high school graduation attainment. Madison Connor, KRQE News 13.